right, guys. Um, we're going to be reviewing, show you this, this Bosch GET 75-6. So this is an awesome sander. I have had it for a few weeks now, and I've really been loving it. This is one way to really step up your business when it comes to epoxy river tables and sanding. This thing, I tell you what, man, it really eats the surface, um, but you have to be a little bit careful. But this thing really powers down these router marks and the, um, or planer marks. Like you see these marks from the planer in here. This has not been sanded. This is directly off the planer. And we're going to go ahead and sand this surface to show you exactly how this thing works. Now, a couple of things. I know it's dirty. Um, but it's, it takes a six inch pad, which is one inch bigger than the normal, like orbital sanders. Most of them are five inches, uh, ones you get from like Home Depot and things like that. Um, so having the six inch pad really helps. Also, it's super balanced, even though you see how you have this end here, the thing really wants to stay flat, even though you have all this weight over here. Um, it has two grips, one here, one here. It makes it much easier to hold the pad flat to the surface instead of like this, or you tend to want to do this. By having two, it really keeps it flat. It also has this button right here. So if you can see the little, the markings on it here, you got the big chunks and you got the little chunks, okay? So when you have it in regular random orbit mode, it works just like a regular orbital sander. But when you turn it into turbo mode, it really gets this gear driven sander and it really aggressively takes off the surface and you don't have to change the pads. That's the cool part. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly how this thing works on this charcuterie board. And uh, this video will be up on how to make a charcuterie board like this up shortly. So we're gonna go ahead and start sanding. And the one cool thing about this is Home Depot. I just went there today and I grabbed some sandpaper, but if you notice, they only have with the ones with the vacuum ports and the six inch disc, they only had 150 and 220. But because we're going to be using the Rubio mono coat on this, um, Rubio only recommends going up to 150. So that's what we're going to use on this. Um, they only have 150. So we're actually going to show you taking it straight off the planer, only using 150 grit and show you how the sander really powers through this stuff. Okay. So let's do that. I do want to tell you guys that this thing, when it when you really start getting into the aggressive, the turbo mode here, which is what I'm gonna start off up, you really do need a, a vacuum attachment. I don't have my dust collector yet, okay? But I am, it's, it is coming soon. I don't have one yet, but this thing kicks up a lot of dust. It's so aggressive that it really does take off a lot of material. And so you have to be careful, wear a mask, and um, protect yourself from dust, okay? All right, so straight off the planer, and straight to 150 grit sandpaper, all right. So when you go to start doing this, you, you want to start in either mode. You cannot switch it while it's on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we'll, I'll show you regular random orbit mode. Now, if you guys can see this, I was just a few swipes back and forth and you can see that you, we can see the, the planar marks in here. And that was only a few seconds. You notice that thing still kind of, it does really well, even in random orbit mode. But I'm gonna show you how this stuff eats this stuff up when you put it in turbo mode, okay? So we're gonna switch it to turbo mode. It's a lot more aggressive, so you gotta make sure you have a good hold on your sander and then we'll go ahead and start sanding. Right there. You see that in two swipes on a different part. See, we still have the router, this, we still have the planar marks on this side, but right where I did it, 
completely gone. I mean, that, that was super quick. Did you see that? Super fast. And so that's what I really like and why I think this uh, tool like this is a game changer, okay? Because as you know, when you own your own business, time is money, okay? And this thing cost, I bought this new on Amazon for $299 and I'll link that down in the description, which may seem like a lot of money, but I'm telling you, if you're saving hours of sanding, you're saving more than $299 uh, with your products, okay? So I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna sand this whole thing and um, we're gonna actually time it and show you how fast I can sand one of these boards using 150 grit sandpaper and the sander, okay? Time. See how long was that? We got this whole side sanded down. No more router marks. Excuse me, no more planer marks. And if you were going to be doing an epoxy flood coat, at that point, this would be ready for an epoxy flood coat. But because we're doing an oil finish, we're gonna switch this thing over into random orbit mode and uh, continue sanding. Um, if you notice, sometimes you'll get like this little thing looks like a pigtail. You want to, um, you want to wipe the dust every few minutes or so, so the dust isn't clogging up your paper. But as you can see, paper's not clogged up. So we're gonna switch it over to random orbit and continue sanding. All right, at this point, we are done with the top, but I will say what we're gonna continue doing is we're gonna fill all these holes with some CA glue. Um, the little tiny, these are holes that were inside the apple wood, and I have one bubble mark that goes down into the epoxy right here that will also fill up. As far as the sander guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, go get the Bosch. I will say, as this is this is comparable to the Festool uh, sander, when it comes to sanding, um, very, very close to the same. I've used the other Festool. Now, I will say the Festool is nicer because it comes with a quick disconnect to pull off this pad where this uses an Allen wrench. Other than that, though, this thing is really cool, very awesome, great value uh, for the quality. Um, obviously this would be kind of like if you are an automotive person, it'd be snap on versus Mac or something like that. This will get the job done and save you a ton of money, uh, in the process. So I'll click the link down in the description to go buy this tool. When you click the link in the description, it's not going to cost you any more money. Um, all it does is I get a commission, uh, from the link down in the description. I get a commission when you purchase it. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, they just give me a plug for you guys coming through through the Goodview Woodworks door into Amazon, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So go get yourself a sander and I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging out with us. Go get yourself a sander and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys. GoPro, stop recording.